presidency. And can't we elect somebody else besides a Clinton or a Bush? Yeah, because he's going to be. Uh, Jeb <laughs> Bush is one of the other people that, um, you know, one of the other people that uh, they've been talking about. Do you see it? Uh, I think I see it as a Clinton Bush. For, that's now my prediction for 2016. It might, it might be if, if you know, if Hillary Clinton wants to run or if Jeb Bush wants to run. We still don't know if they, they haven't announced yet. Neither of them have announced. Right, yet. they have not announced yet. So, do you think after the holidays, the first part of the year, we'll at least get to hear who's running for I think, office? I think so. Um, January, February, the latest. I think there will be announcements, and I think we will know if if Hillary Clinton will be the candidate. Then the question is, does Elizabeth Warren? Uh, will she challenge uh, Hillary Clinton um, in the Iowa ca caucuses mm -hmm. uh, and in the Republican Party if Jeb Bush decides to run? Then will somebody like uh, Rand Paul from that libertarian, some people say the Tea Party wing of the Republican mm -hmm. Party, does he then challenge um, uh, Jeb Bush in the primaries, and then in, in usually a conservative, the conservatives come out in the Republican primaries, and liberals come out in Democratic primaries. So maybe you get a uh, Rand Paul winning and, and an Elizabeth Warren, Warren winning, <laughs> going going into New Hampshire. Yeah, you never know. You things, never know. Things can really change. Yes, and that's, yeah, yeah. That's one thing about politics is never it never stay it never stay it never stays. You know. Focus. It could yeah. be if, as soon as you know. Oh, this is what's going to happen. Then all of a sudden, it completely changes. Right, right. And and I when my first book about politics was I was reading the 1960 uh, election the, when Theodore White was writing that book about the um, <clears throat> the Democratic primary when. Her, uh, Hubert Humphrey was the darling of the Democratic <laughs> Party, but somehow a guy named John F. Kennedy wound up winning uh, well, those well, elections. Well, Richard, I love having you come on the show because you are so, uh, you, you know so much about all <laughs> politics. You're so well-rounded on this. And I wanted our viewers to hear a little bit about Chicago politics because it seems like international politics is the thing that always takes precedent over you know everything else. And right. we don't know really what's going on in our city. And so I'd love to welcome you back love when to come back. Uh, when we after the mayor race, okay. and we'll find out who the mayor is, you know, and right. who the other people are, and what happens to them.